Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about some early, early investments that could potentially turn around and make you guys a lot of stubs. So the way this is going to be different from like roster updates every two weeks, it could be guys that go, you know, gold or diamond in the next month or so. Some, some players that are just like under the radar, still around like maybe 1500 stubs that may go diamond to turn around and, you know, even quick sell for like 5k each. That's a lot of stubs to be made. There's a lot of under the radar players out there right now that are super cheap. And I'm going to tell you guys those players to invest in early right now. So this is going to be like lower risk players too. And so it's going to be a nice thing. Like even if you spend maybe 15k to get 10 of a 1500 player, even, you know, if the price goes down a little bit by like 200 stubs or 300 stubs, you're really only losing 2000 or 3000 stubs if you're doing it that way. But I mean, the turnaround, if they do go up to like a diamond or something, and these players, I've, I've researched these players, and they definitely do have a chance to go diamond this year. But yeah, the return is going to be huge if you put down some stubs and just let it sit for a while. The point of this game right now is to be patient with the market. You just never know what's going to happen. So I have a few lists of players. I've got bronze, silvers to golds. i got golds to diamonds that are super cheap right now. And we're going to break it all down today. If you are new to this channel, if you want to see more of this... There's probably only going to be a couple episodes of this, like, early investments thing, because these players, like I said, might not go and get their diamonds or anything for another couple months or another couple roster updates, but leave a like regardless down below. And also, if you're new, if this video helps you out, make sure you guys leave a subscribe as well. So I guess let's, like, not waste any more time and get, just get started. The first guy on the list is actually the only bronze right now. Yes, there are a lot more players out there that could potentially, you know, get a boost. But right now, I'm only pinpointing some players that I think for myself, in my opinion, you know, can make you guys the most stubs and that I'm investing in myself. But the first guy on the list, he's actually been really hot here in the last few days or in the last seven games. We're actually going to go take a look at Ian Desmond at 72 overall bronze right now. Look at his price. 39 stubs. What's the quick sell for a silver? 100, right? So if you guys buy him at like 40 stubs each, say you bought 100 of Ian Desmond, that's a 6,000 stub profit. You're going to look at a 60 stub profit per, you know, Ian Desmond that you do have. And, and I mean, honestly, his stats right now, he does have a chance to go silver in the next roster update. That's how well he's playing right now. He's gone from an uh, average of 242 to a 273. And even, you know, even if you do just quick sell him once he does get to silver, that's still a good return. This is for those of you guys that don't have a lot of stubs to spend right now for investments. But like I said before, if you're patient, Ian Desmond could be a st good starter investment for you guys. Obviously, I would probably cap it off at around maybe 75 stubs or maybe even lower than that. So if his price gets above 70 stubs at the sell now, at the lowest there, I would say hold off buying any more Ian Desmond. But even then, you're still going to get 30 stubs per Ian Desmond if he does go silver. So the next guy on the list is actually a silver. Cole Hamels makes the list. And we're almost a little too late on Cole Hamels right now. Playing very, very well. 626 buy now. You can still make profit off of that if he does go gold, you know. And he's definitely got the stats right now to be considered for a gold but right now he's still a little bit a little bit cheaper you'll still almost double all your stubs that you put into the cold hamels i would say stop investing at around 700 stubs so you guys are seeing this right like the trend here when to stop investing but cole hamels if you buy them at like 575 each gonna be very good but to back my claims up here he has an immaculate era right now in the last 14 innings pitched of 0.64 era and a 1.07 whip so i mean get as many cole hamels as you can because i really think this you know he's gonna go gold like Kind of like Ian Desmond, he could actually go gold in the next update because that two bump is very, very easy. And he's actually kind of, you know, flowing under the radar because right now, a lot of people are seeing Cattell Marte. Yes, Cattell Marte is not going to make this list. I'm just going to put that out there right now because he's a little bit too expensive already. So, but Cole Hamels flying, kind of flying under the radar. You're going to make a lot of stubs. You're going to double your stubs almost here with Cole Hamels if you invest right now now but stop investing around like the 700 range maybe 750 if you guys are buying more than 750 
you're kind of just, I think, spending too much on Cole Hamels right now. So, but the rest of these players on this list are going to be all golds to diamonds, potentially golds to diamonds, right? And this is where you're really going to make a lot of your stubs. But a lot of these players, for a lot of these guys, you're going to have to have to put down a lot of stubs on here. Spend at least 15, 20K on some of these players. You can pick and choose if you want. You can invest in all the players that I tell you today, but... This is where you're going to make a lot of your stubs. So the first guy on my list is actually Yasmani Grandal, fellow Milwaukee Brewer right here. I'm a Milwaukee Brewers fan. You guys already should know that. But Grandal is having one of his best seasons ever. He just got a boost from, I think, 81 overall to 83 in the last roster update. So it might still be a couple updates left for Yasmani Grandal. That means he still has to continue playing well. But right now, he definitely has. He's, you know, on the projection to go up. And look at his price. One. 1177 I have 20 of him currently because I do have that much faith in Yasmani Grandal potentially going diamond this year and I mean you guys can look up the stats this year right he doesn't have the best blocking 91 fielding that does not mean blocking he actually has pretty good fielding arm stakes gonna stay probably at around 68 70 area but blocking might actually get like a little bit lower there but at 75, I think that's pretty modest for him. But his hitting stats are amazing right now. This is another one of those where it's a low risk investment. Because even if he does go down back to like 80, he's still going to be a quick sell of 1,000, right? So if you're buying him from around 1,500, you're not going to lose a lot of stubs from Yasmani Grandal if he busts. He's got 15 home runs this year. Like I said, he's probably going to crush his home run totals. He's, he's probably going to hit over 30 home runs this year. And for a catcher, that's huge. Another thing that sticks out about Yasmani Grandal is that he's walking a lot. I mean, he's got 95 discipline, so they already do know that. 50 vision, he's almost walking more than he is striking out. So vision could still get a little bit of a bump there. He's batting a 274 average, and he's already an 83 overall. So, Yasmati Grandal, pick him up for 1,200. My rule of thumb, honestly, with these golds that are potentially going diamond, you can buy them all the way up to like 3,500 stubs and still turn a huge profit for each one that you pick up. So, that's going to be our rule of thumb, right? From gold to diamond, stop buying at around that 3,500 range. Because then, if you're buying at 3,500 and then he doesn't go diamond, then that's when you start to really lose a lot of your stuff. So just be careful with that and don't go don't go too overboard with it. I'll probably stay around. I'll probably pick up like 20 more Yasmani Grandals. And once I have 40, I've spent maybe about 50K to get the 40 for Yasmani Grandal. But once that turns into a 5k quick sell, oh my goodness. That's gonna be 200 plus thousand stubs in my pocket, and that's gonna be fun by the end of the season because we're gonna keep getting great cards like right for like our headliners and stuff so but next guy on the list let's go a little bit quicker i'm getting too you know too talky here next guy on the list he's a little bit more expensive we got xander bogarts still a little bit cheaper another 83 overall 2225 stubs right now but still cheap right now, right? My a rule of thumb is 3,500. Maybe set it a little bit lower. Say 3K. But Xander Bogarts, 2,225 stubs. Huge last seven here. 360 average in his last seven. He's got 14 home runs on the year. So for, for a shortstop too, he's showing some good power. You're still going to be able to double your profits with Xander Bogarts as well. So if he continues to keep, you know, his average up, get a little bit more home runs, you'll see a little bit more contact, a little bit more power. He's got decent speed already. Fielding is a little sus, but only a two bump for the Xander Bogarts. Let's see. They give him plus 13 on his righties, and that gets him up to an 85 overall. So another player to watch. Maybe just hold for a little bit. Buy right now. And then you can see, you know, more than of a double of a profit if you guys pick up Xander Bogarts. All right. This one's more probably of a probable diamond. He's already got his tops now card, right, as a diamond. Ryu at 82 overall. I don't think he got a, a boost in the last one, but I mean, look at these stats. Compare the two. He's at 90 diamond in his tops now, right? He's already got the velocity. If his home runs per nine go up a little bit, hits per nine, case per nine, everything goes up a little bit, you're going to see a Ryu and you're going to see double on your stubs. This is the one that I think might be going very soon as well. Honestly, it could be considered the best pitcher in 2019 right now. Three earned runs in his last eight games. So huge stats for Ryu. I don't think I need to talk about Ryu much more. You guys probably already know the hype surrounded around him. But honestly, right now, he's very, 
under the radar very cheap right now so i'll start stacking up on reuse okay so we are going back to back players that have done very well in the last month we've got josh bell who's a fresh fresh gold right but 81 overall josh bell still playing well he's got 20 home runs on the season we already know that 319 average super cheap right now 1180 could be a guy in the next couple months that you're gonna see a diamond especially after the all-star games if it can continue to stay hot after that wow lots of stubs to be made i don't think there's anyone that's swinging the bats better than charlie blackman 80 overall gold used to be a diamond right now he is the talk of the mob right oh my goodness I keep backing out of it, but Charlie Blackman, 1,656, 341 average in the season. Used to be a diamond, like I said, 576 average in his last seven games, and he's got 16 home runs on the season. So you're seeing the diamond Charlie Blackman that he was last year show up right now. So how long can he continue to stay hot? We don't know, but we love where he's trending. We love how his price is going up and he's still very cheap right now. So 1,656 stubs. Go get your Charlie Blackmans because he only needs to continue this for a little bit longer. Like next roster update, honestly, Charlie Blackman could bump up to an 83 or over 84 overall right away. And then, you know, a couple more weeks after that could potentially be a diamond. So Charlie Blackman, invest right now. And I don't think you're going to regret it, right? There's, I mean, he's probably going to still, even if he does go back to average, right? He's still probably going to have a 30 home run season. And he's already got high contact and high vision. So you know he's going to hit well. Next kind of list, another guy that's a little bit more expensive. And he was actually my pick to go diamond last time around. But he's still, you know, on that diamond radar here very, very soon. We've got Zach Granke, only 2466 We saw his price spike up all the way up to around 3500 So even if you want to sell at the 3500 you're still going to see a 1000 sub profit for every Zach Granke that you pick up. Another one where I have 30 of him and hoping for a good return once he does go diamond. And he's got the numbers for it. We're seeing the diamond 2016 Zach Granke right now. And he went from, I think, an 83 overall all the way to an 84. So next couple roster updates, if he continues to play well, you're going to see definite a definite diamond here. I don't see why not. SDS would be crazy to not give Zach Granke a diamond. His whip in the last three years have improved. And this year, he's got a .88 whip, which is amazing. Never really been a strikeout guy, so you're not going to see a high case per nine from him. But hits per nine definitely can go up more. Home runs per nine, definitely. So he's looking, like I said, he's looking better than his 2016 diamond card. So I expect a good return from this Zach Granke. And you guys can still pick him up right now at a good price of 2466 So we're coming down to the wire here. We've got one more player to show you guys for now. Like I said before, there are a lot of more different players out there that do deserve a look. But we've got the 83 overall lefty fireballer, Brad Hand. And I think he's actually super under the radar right now. Brad Hand, big strikeout, guys. So you see the 99 case per nine. He's already got that. He only needs a little bit of a boost to honestly go to a diamond. And at 1,405, that's huge profits, as you guys can see. 0.75 whip. A .88 ERA this year. 83 overall already. I don't think I have to say much more. This is another one that's low on, on risk with huge upside when he does go diamond, right? So just continue to play, pitch well, Brad Hand. You guys are going to see a diamond Brad Hand. And potentially, even if he doesn't go diamond, potentially a guy that can be up around the 3,000 stub range, 3,500. So at 1,405, those are still great profits even if he does not go diamond even the hype itself people are always looking for for investments and people watch baseball they know who's hot they're gonna start to notice brad hand and that price is gonna go up and that you know that can go for all the players that i mentioned today right like zach granke everyone is, is already starting to see that but still these guys are super under the radar very cheap right now Go get your stubs, make some good investments, and hopefully I can make you guys some stubs along with making myself some stubs too. So thank you guys so much for watching today. That's going to be it for today. Let me know your top investments down below as well. I will do a roster update 
prediction here. Usually I do it on Mondays before the Friday roster update, so you'll be expecting that as well. Thank you so much for watching today, guys. I'd appreciate the likes. I appreciate the subs. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one.